Hey everyone and welcome back. So today we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, I mentioned in the last video that I had the Pokemon Advent Calendar and once it was all open I would show you guys what I got inside. Um, so everything's been opened and I just wanted to show you all what kind of things came in the Pokemon Advent Calendar this year. Um, it was quite fun to be able to open things on a daily basis and get Pokemon items was very cool and I loved that it was cards as you know we collect cards here so we're just going to run through some of the items that were included and I'll show you the cards in each of the packs the individual cards there was promo cards in here things like that so um, we will have a look together so the first thing are these collectible coins they are quite large there's one in red and one in blue very Christmassy themed um very very cool i have quite a few coins now um they do have the pokemon logo on the back and these ones are fairly big compared to some of the others so that is really cool so these came on two separate days we also have a keychain so we do have like a deli bird and a pikachu on a little keyring attach this to your bag things like that the clips quite sturdy um, so yeah it's made of like a thick rubber material so it's not gonna break too easily which is nice very cute design we then also have some stickers so you can see we do have the happy holidays for the new year and if we open this sheet up we do have quite a lot of ice pokemon for the christmas themed and we do also have the same design as our keyring very cool little sticker sheet so that came on a day as well and then we do have some of our packs as you can see there is actually another packet of stickers which was a bit earlier on so again we have some of the ice Pokemon just for the theme of Christmas and our Pikachu as well as a little odd one out but he is carrying a little snowball so there was two packets of stickers um, now there were single cards and things like that but I have placed them in other packs just to keep them safe the only one that I haven't done was near the end um, we did get this Volar V card in its little package, which is really nice. So I didn't want to place this inside of another pack because it does have the plastic film on it. Um, and you can see it does come with the um, promo card for it as well. So you can use that online. Very, very pretty card. And then everything else is based into packs. And like I say, there will be the odd... Um, single card that I've just placed inside just to keep it safe so we have a little look at what we've got um, we have Brilliant Stars, Chilling Rains, Fusion um, so they are the packs that are included so you can see we get a good mixture of um, full standard packs and we also get the additional um, three card just kind of like fun packs from different sets um, so as I say these normally come with three cards it comes with a, a little booklet and here are some of the cards included and we did get the gold duck and then this is one of the single cards that we had which was the deli bird and you can see it's a nice little hollow so it's not from the same set as you can see I just placed it in there to keep it safe for now and then I'm just gonna pop that to one side because I need to sort out these cards into my collection so again with the little packs we do get the booklet and then we did get a Hootoot again there's four cards in this pack so we did get the reverse hollow um, and then the lapis was a single and you can see the hollow is the same as the deli bird it's like a dotted hollow which is really unique and pretty looks really really nice on camera there reflects off the light really well 
So yeah, after I've shown you all of these cards, we're going to be sleeving any hollows, sorting them out into the groups and putting them into the binders, hopefully. So this one was a Brilliant Stars. And you can see we got to see quite a lot of the art styles from di completely different sets, which was really cool. Um, it's not often that you get like a, a large mixture like this in one place. In the um, the Pokeballs kind of thing, you normally get three booster packs. Some of them are normally different. Uh, I love Shinx, my favourite Pokemon. <laughs> Absolutely love Shinx, happy with that one. Um, so yeah, in the Pokeballs, we do normally get um, three different boosters. Um, some of the tins, you normally get three or four different boosters. So you normally have that many, but this many different types is quite a unique experience. And each day you didn't know what you were going to get. So it was um, super fun. And we got the Reverse Hollow Corvuscat Swire. And this one has also been placed in there just to keep it safe. So this was the single card that we got earlier on. And then later on in the month, we then got the kind of upgraded version, which was really cool. We have put the packet. So these little three card packs are quite fun. You tend to see them on magazines and things like that. Um on to get these ones out oh but yeah you tend to get them with like um pokemon magazines and uh things like that you don't really buy them in the shops and i've never opened ones before to be honest so it was quite a new and unique experience we do have the reverse hollow latias love this card i used to really really love um the movie with latias and latios so it's a very very pretty card and we do have and a bomb of snow on the back there. Um, it is hollow. It's really hard to see. If you look up the top here, you can see the little dots. Um, it is hollow, which is really, really difficult to see. It's one of those um, cards that are quite hard. So they were all of the littler packs. And then we did have one, two, three, four, five, six main packs through the month. So they were spaced out fairly well. Um, with a mixture of like coins and key rings and single cards, they were mixed up pretty well. We do have our reverse hollow. These aren't going to be in the best order because, like I say, I've already opened and kind of like done the tricks with these and had a look at what we got. We did get a, another flat, another hollow. So we don't have many cards from Evolving Skies. Um, it's a set that I didn't get to see too much of. Um, it was just, they didn't really have them in my area too often. Um, so it was just kind of like that look, unfortunately. Um, so I was quite excited to see a pack of that in there. So we do have our hollow, our reverse hollow. And some fun little skull bunnies again playing with snow. Nice for the theme. And then some trainer cards from that pack and our energy card. So these two were from Chillin' Rain. We have cards both ways. I assume I've put an extra one in here. So this is one of the promo cards that was included. As you can see down here, it does say promo. And it is a hollow Pikachu. Again, the hollow is very subtle compared to some of the others. If you look for like these little dots here, you can see that it does kind of disappear and shine in the light. But it's a little bit more difficult to see. It's a very, very, very cute design of Pikachu. And we do have, obviously, the main Pikachu and some in the background, which you guys know I absolutely love. When there's different Pokemon or different of the same kind, you can see that this one here is kind of like squashing this one to see, but they look quite happy. It's really, really cute. So that was one of the promos included. 
And then we did have our Chill and Rain booster pack. Again, some really interesting and unique cards. So you'll have to let me know in the comments below. If you play Pokemon and you nickname your Pokemon, if you see that Pokemon on a card, do you see it by its actual Pokemon name? Or do you instantly think of your, your name that you gave the Pokemon? Because sometimes I see a Pokemon that I gave a nickname when I was very young um, and I'll, I'll see it and it'll make me smile because I'll think back of the name that I used to call it. Some very cool cards in the Fusion Strike and our energy. And we will do the Astral Radiance. And we'll get rid of the code card. Okay, we don't have many from this set. Very cool hoot hoot there. So I was super excited to see that very cool art of Poop Gianna. Our Drift Loon, our Reverse Hollow. And our Rare for the set. And our Energy. And the last pack that we did have was the Brilliant Stars. And we got one of these in the set, which again I was quite interested in because they are a newer pack. Um, so I was interested to see these. We have a Gabite, very cool. A really, really interesting and unique art style there for Magma. Very different from the rest of the pack. It really, really does stand out. We have our Reverse Hollow. So Friends in Gala, I really, really love this card. Uh, I love the game for Sword and Shield. And just to have like a few of the trainers together and things like that. I think that's a really, really awesome card. And our Rare for the set. So that is everything that was included in the Advent Calendar. Um, I was going to open it day by day with you all, but it was... A little bit more difficult than that some days I forgot some days I had to open um, multiple because I had different kind of experiences I had family to see and things like that so it turns out easier to just kind of open it all and then show you guys everything that was included so the advent calendar was around um, 40 pounds in the UK and this was everything that we got included I thought there was quite a large variety of packs cards there was a good mixture of um other items in between so like single like um full art cards we have promo cards coins the key rings that kind of spaced out quite well um and i thought it was a fair price for the amount of packs and cards that we did get so it's going to take me some time to sort them all out and put them all in the right places but it was a real joy to open over christmas and it got me quite excited for christmas day um, going to see family and friends and things like that and I have family that collect Pokemon so it was interesting to see what they got as well so let me know in the comments below what you think and I'll be back soon with another video so thanks so much for watching everyone and I'll see you all again soon bye